Hi everybody, my name is Tina and we're going to go through a class today that is specifically aimed at the lungs. So it's a combination of yoga and movement, so yoga and qigong basically, um, to strengthen the lungs, clear them and re-energize because the l lungs are the home of your chi or your energy or your prana. It's where the energy comes into the body and then can be dispersed throughout your organs below. So it's important to make sure that the lungs are as strong as they can be. So sit on your heels and just open your knees apart a little bit um, to just wider than hip distance and just drape yourself down um, in between your thighs. Outstretch the arms and just let the earth support you. Take steady, relaxed breaths in through the nose and out through the nose if you can. And inhale, imagining inhaling white light, going into your lungs and filling your lungs. And on the exhale, releasing anything that you might be holding on to. Inhale, come up and walk your hands over to the right and then drop down, relax the neck, drop the head, release through the shoulders and feel the gentle stretch through your left side body. The breath will come in more fully into the left side chest. And just imagine that breath penetrating and reaching every little corner of your lungs. Keep the steady breaths. Inhale, come up. Walk your hands over to the left. And again, just relax down. Let your head fully drop. And see if you can feel the weight of gravity on you. So just releasing any tension with your exhales. And take a maybe a sigh if you need to. So inhaling through the nose and then a big exhale, sigh through the mouth, just to release anything that you just don't need right now. Inhale, come up, walk your hands back to centre and just take them back a little bit towards your knees, so not quite so outstretched. Wiggle the hips, ground yourself through the hips and as you inhale, big inhale, you're going to round the back, pull in the lower belly, drop the head stretch across the back of the shoulders and fill the back body with air and then exhaling drop the belly forward bring the heart forward inhale round the back drop the head fill the back with breath and then exhale drop the belly forwards extend the spine and pull gently the heart forwards. Inhale, big deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale and use your hands actively against the mat so you can push with the hands to help stretch across the back and really round into the, the back and the spine. And then pull them towards your knees, pull the hands towards the knees as you bring the heart forward on the exhale. Walk your hands back up, bring your knees slightly in to hip distance apart. Lengthen the spine, drop your jaw, relax the forehead. 
And just take a couple of breaths. I'm just going to do a switch round to face the side of my mat here, just so you can see what I'm doing. But you stay facing the front. So we're going to look for a place which is the entrance of your lung meridian into the body. So this is a lung energy channel in traditional Chinese medicine. And if you just go under your um, collarbone, you'll find somewhere, if you have a little root around, you'll find a little kind of dip or a hole. And that, if you, it might be a little bit tender, particularly if you've got um, chest problems at the moment. And what you want to do is just go over the top of the shoulder, trace a line of where your energy, your lung meridian is. So it goes over the top of the shoulder, down the upper arm, over the top of the forearm, and down along the top of the thumb. Now swap sides, find the other side, because there's obviously two energy channels because you have two lungs. And just trace the line of the channel, so it goes over the top of the shoulder, down the upper arm, over the top of the forearm, and down along the side of your thumb and your wrist. So cup your hand and we're just going to start to do some tapping. So you're going to tap the point of the entrance of your lung meridian into your body. So you're going to do eight lots of eight. So just count in your mind and just keep breathing steadily throughout the, the practice. You're stimulating the energy here at this point of your lung meridian. And then cup your hand when you've finished that, and you're going to tap or cup the arm all the way along, eight times along the lung meridian. And do that eight times in total. So eight again, eight lots of eight. Watch closely where I'm tapping to see where the lung meridian lies. We're just stimulating and clearing the energy here. Okay, so find that whole point again. And we're just going to do a gentle massage. So massage over the top of the shoulder and just down the upper arm. And you can do that as many times as you like, 8, 10, 20 times, however, whatever feels good to you. Don't overdo it if it's tender. Okay, so now we'll move on to the lower part of the arm. So where the inner crease of your elbow is, you're going to go about an inch above that and massage gently along that part of your lower arm. If it's tender, just go gently. Probably if it's a little bit tender, that's, that'll be how you can tell that it's, you've hit the right spot. And then we'll just do the end part of the meridian. So just along the side of your wrist, along the side of the thumb. It's important to shift the energy in the joints. So that's why we've worked particularly on the uh, shoulder, elbow and wrist because that's where the energy can particularly get stuck or stagnant. So just close your eyes, put your backs of your hands on your thighs with palms up and just be aware of any sensations. So maybe if there's any change in feeling from one side to the other, or maybe it feels the same, it doesn't matter. So now we'll start the tapping on the other side, on the other um, energy channel. Remember, eight lots of eight, so count in your head. And just keep breathing steadily. Now we're going to cup down the length of the arm. So again, watch where I'm doing. You go over the top of the shoulder, down the upper arm, and over the top of the forearm, and down to the side of the wrist and the thumb. 
Again, eight lots of eight. And then when you've finished, we'll just do the meridian massage again. So starting from that hollow point underneath your uh, collarbone, going over the top of the shoulder, and just a little bit down the upper arm. I always knew that um, meridians, energy channels existed for me because I would be tender in certain muscles and areas and zones and I didn't understand why until later I read up about it and I also went to see an acupuncturist when I was going through my pre-lung transplant um, and we discovered, uh, I discovered that how, what a big impact working with the energy channels has. It helped me a lot through that time. And I also had it after my transplant as well. So just keep massaging. Again, we're on the wrist now. On the side of the wrist and the side of the thumb. And when you've finished, just sit with your eyes closed for a moment and just be aware of any sensations, feelings, maybe kind of um, tingling energy. And we're just going to do some shoulder rolls. So inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears and exhale as you move them back and down. And just move the shoulders with the breath and just try to move the shoulder joint, nothing else. Do a few nice steady rolls and then we're going to lift them up slowly with the inhale and drop them heavily. Totally drop the shoulder joint with the exhale. Just to shift any tension, release any tension through the shoulders and the back, which is so common if we have um, a cough or any tension in the lungs and back and shoulders and chest. So really drop them as heavy as you can, just as if gravity totally takes over. When you finish that, just take a breath or two. And inhaling, we're going to raise the arms forwards and up over the head, opening the chest and the shoulders. Keep the shoulders soft though, don't raise them up. And then as you exhale, bring the arms down to the sides, out to the sides like a T-shape. Inhale, bring the arms in front of you and up as you gaze at the fingertips. Exhale, take the arms down just to the sides, and then inhale forwards and up. As if you're gathering the air, gathering the energy from the air and bringing it up into you. So inhale, gather. As you reach up, keep the shoulders soft, but really fill the lungs, and then exhale, drop the arms out to the sides. One more time. And then bring the arms down to the sides. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, you're going to drop the elbows to shoulder height and bend the arms. Inhale, take the shoulders back, opening the chest. And exhale, exhale bring the elbows together in front of you. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, drop the elbows to shoulder height. 
Inhale, take the elbows back and lift the heart. Exhale, stretch across the back of the shoulders and bring the elbows together in front of you. Just keep repeating this with your own breath. Imagine the breath as a, a solid thing, a material thing. So imagine it's moving and pulsing and wanting to fill the lungs and come into the, come into the body without any force, just naturally like diffusing into your chest and your back and your upper lungs, your lower lungs. Don't worry if you don't feel like you can get a full breath. If you have a cough at a moment or a cold, that's very common, so don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. And just place your palms up, resting on your thighs, and just take a couple of breaths. Take your right hand to the outside of the left leg, and you're going to rotate the left arm. So inhaling, take the left arm up to the sky, and watch the fingers as, you go around, as the arm goes round. And then exhale, bring the arm down. Inhale, look to the hand and exhale, bring the arm back down. So feel the rolling and the opening of that whole left side chest as you do this movement. Remember to try and keep the shoulder soft. Don't exert the arm and force it higher than it really wants to go. Let it take its own natural course through that circle. Come back to centre, take a breath. And then swap sides. So take the left hand over to the outside of the right knee. And start the rotations pulling in your lower belly, so you're using your core a little bit to twist to the side. And inhale, raise the arm up, follow the hand and the fingers with the eyes. And exhale down. Inhale, the arm comes up in front of you. And then exhale, down to the side behind. Just keep with your breath. and trying to use your core to assist the movement. This is a great exercise for getting breath into the lungs, the lower lungs and the midsection of the lungs. And all the way, imagine the air going right up into the armpits. Take the fingertips behind you now, just on the mat behind you. Roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, and just gently drop the head back as you take a big inhale. And then exhale, slide the hands forward and come to tabletops, which is all fours. So knees are now underneath hips and wrists are underneath shoulders. And I just want you to wriggle and move intuitively through this posture. Um, releasing any tension through the hips, relaxing the back, moving out the shoulders. And just breathe as you move. Okay, so as you inhale, you're going to drop the belly and lift the heart forwards. And then you're going to Exhale, push against the mat with your hands away towards the front of the mat, round the back, pull the belly in, and fully exhale, round in the back. Inhale, drop the belly, bring the heart forwards. And exhale, push your hands away on the mat, through the floor to round the back, really stretch across the back and the shoulders. And inhale, drop the belly, and gently bring the heart forwards, raise your gaze. Exhale, round the back like a cat, really stretching into the back. Inhale, drop the belly, bring the heart forwards. 
Exhale, round the back, pull the head towards the hips. And then inhale, raise the knees a couple of inches off the floor, pull the belly in, lengthen the spine, and push back to downwards dog. Just walk out the heels a little bit, stretch out through the backs of legs, the hamstrings. Soften the hips, move the hips side to side. Maybe do some deep bends into the knees, both knees at the same time, lifting the heels. Push through the floor with your hands and extending the shoulders away from the ears and bring your elbows around the back, not out to the side. Inhale, raise the left leg behind you and exhale, pull the belly in and bring the left leg forward in between the hands, drop the right knee and come into a low lunge. Feel your feet firmly grounded and inhale, raise the arms up over the head and exhale, maybe drop the hips a little bit, so drop the hips forwards a little and really see if you can just open into the mid and upper chest. Exhale, drop the hands down to the sides, spread the fingers. And with every inhale, imagine all the air you can coming into your front body, filling the front body, welcoming the air into your body. Just take a few breaths here. Allowing the body to move with the breath, pulse slightly. And then exhaling, move the hips back, lift the left toes off the floor and have your hands on fingertips out to the sides of your front foot. Stretching through again through the back of the leg. Try to make sure the hips are even and aligned. And then inhale, come forwards, back into your low lunge. Raise the right knee, lift the hips, and gently, slowly step forward. So the right foot is hips distance apart from the left foot. And then drape down over bent thighs, bent legs, and drape your body over your thighs and sway side to side. Ragdoll, drop the head, release through the neck, and let the shoulders just Feel the weight of the shoulders as they hang from your body. So we're going to do a halfway lift. So place your fingertips down in front of you. Inhaling, lengthen the body forwards. And exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, pull the lower belly in. And exhale, Drape down over the legs, elbows drop out to the side. Inhale, halfway lift. Raise the right leg behind you. Extend through the heel, push through the heel. And slowly as you can, bring the right toes down to the floor, the back of the mat. Into a high lunge so the right knee stays raised. Take the arms out to the sides, maybe bend slowly into the right knee so it bring, comes down to the floor. And you're going to take, if you can, take the right arm over the outside of the left leg and place the arm of hand either flat down or on your fingertips and open the left side chest to the sky with your left hand on your hip. And just try and lengthen through the spine as you take a few breaths there. Inhale, release, and gently step forwards. Halfway lift, inhale, raise the, and extend the left leg out behind you, pushing through the heel, drop the left knee down to the floor to a low lunge. Hands on hips, drop the shoulders, soften the jaw. And inhale, raise the arms up 
over the head. Keep the shoulders soft and maybe with an exhale you can slightly drop the hips forward, lengthening through the psoas and the front hip of the left leg. Exhale, take the arms down to the sides, spread the fingers and as you inhale, lift the heart a little bit, open the arms a little bit to the side and imagine welcoming in the breath into your chest and into your lungs. Your gaze should be in the direction of your heart. Raise the left knee up to a high lunge. So you're just on the toes of the back foot. And slowly drop and bend the left knee. Breathing steadily. And drop the left knee down to the floor. Take your left arm over the outside of your right leg. And either put your hand flat or your tip to, uh, fingertips on the mat. Extend the left leg and open through the right side chest as you take the chest towards the sky. Feel the twist through the spine. And maybe if you want to, raise the right arm up to the sky and look up towards the fingers. Feel the twist and the breath coming into the right side chest. Exhaling, lower the left leg, left knee down and glide the hips back, extend the right leg and lift the right toes and drape over the right leg. Extending through the spine, lower belly pulled in and just breathe. Keep the shoulders soft. Inhale, bend into the right knee and slowly step the left leg forward. Right heel toe your feet apart, the distance of your width of your mat roughly. And you're going to wiggle through Malasana, which is yogi squat. So it's outstretch the arms out in front of you so you're hanging and draping down in between your knees. And just Maybe lift up the heels, one heel at a time, wiggle through the hips, get deep into the hips here. And also the flexibility of the ankles. Bring your elbows inside the knees and come into prayer position. As you extend the spine, drop the shoulders and slightly tuck your chin. Just breathe. Steady your breath. Try and make the inhale and the exhale roughly the same length. Gently sit your bottom down. As you inhale, drop the knees open. Lift the heart and roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bring the knees together, round the back and push away, push the knees away from you as you stretch across the shoulders. Inhale. Drop the knees open, lift the heart, exhale, round the back, pushing in through to the back and across the shoulders. Inhale, drop the knees open, lift the heart, lift the gaze and exhale, round through the back. Take your hands down behind your bottom and slowly lower yourself down, bending your elbows and come to lie with your legs bent, feet wide and knees together. And just take a few breaths with your arms outstretched to the side. Feel the weight of your back and your body on the floor. Let the earth support you. And grab your block if you have one handy. If you haven't, you can use um, a book or something else instead of a, a, a block or a bolster cushion even. And I want you to place it under your coccyx. And then when it's placed, just rest, completely rest your back and your hips onto the block. 
Keep your knees hip distance apart, so there's a slight magnetism in the knees, between the knees. And just breathe steadily. Really enjoy the release in this posture, the support of the block. Passively opening the chest and the back. Inhale, you're going to lift the hips and gently take the block away. And exhaling, slowly roll the spine down to the floor, one vertebra at a time. Okay, slightly take the hips over to the left and cross the left leg over the right. And with control, using your core, drop slowly the knees and the legs down to the right side. Shift the shoulders as well, slightly over to the right side, so that you can lie the shoulders flat on the floor as much as possible. And either take your hands behind the back of your head, or extend your arms out to the side and gaze slowly over to the left. Whichever is more comfortable. Any posture where you're opening and stretching across the chest and the shoulders, you're working on, again, opening the lung channels, the lung energy channels. This is a great yin posture, yin yoga posture, for opening the chest and the lungs. And just breathe steadily and try to, with every exhale, relax into the posture. This is a posture, when it's a yin posture, you don't sh push or strain at all. It's a completely passive posture which you relax into. So you can spend uh, even one to five minutes in this posture, but for today's class we'll keep it a bit shorter. So inhaling, raise the knees, bring them back to the centre. Take the hips slightly over to the right and cross the right leg over the left. And using your core with control, take the legs over to the left side. Raise the shoulders, lift them off the mat and take them slightly to the left so that you can flatten the shoulders out as much as possible onto the mat. And really feel the stretch and the opening as you passively surrender to the posture. Again, hands can be either behind your head or arms extended out to the side and gazing over gently to the right. And just breathe. Feel the spine releasing along the whole length of the spine and the opening through the chest. Inhale, bring the legs back to centre. And very, very gently, loosely, hug them in towards your body. So keeping the whole length of the spine on the floor, including your coccyx, just gently rock side to side, releasing through the back. And then exhale, release the feet to the floor and glide them at the same time out to the end of the mat and let the feet drop out to the side. The arms are out to the sides. And if you need to, you can raise the chest whilst keeping the shoulders on the mat. Raise the chest as you inhale, so raising the heart towards the sky. And then exhale, melt the back of the chest and the heart to the floor. And just feel and imagine white light coming in through the whole body Feel the energy tingling, maybe in your hands, and spread that tingling energy throughout the whole of yourself. 